Have you ever seen this add syntax in Python? This is called a decorator, a powerful tool in Python that lets you modify a function's behavior without touching its actual source code. Here, at log decorator is decorating the greet function, adding some cool functionality to it without altering the function itself. What's this at symbol doing? Well, it's just a cleaner way to write something more verbose. Using at log decorator is exactly the same as passing the greet function to log decorator and then reassigning the result back to greet. Essentially, the decorator wraps the original function, allowing us to extend or tweak its behavior while keeping the core function unchanged. It makes the code look neat and concise. Let's dive into how this decorator actually works. We define log decorator, which takes a function as input. Inside it, we create a wrapper function that logs the name of the function being called and its arguments before executing the original function. This wrapper is what gets returned. So when we call greet, we're actually calling the wrapped version that includes the logging feature. It's like adding a tracking system to a delivery package. It logs the journey, but still delivers the goods. All right, let's see it in action. When we run the code and call greet Alex, the decorator jumps in first, printing a log message that shows the function name and the arguments passed, like a behind the scenes look at what's happening. Then it runs the original greet function, which returns the message. So you'll see both the log message and the greeting in the output, showing how the decorator adds functionality seamlessly. 